Ready as promised. Ah, oh, it was worth living without it for three long days. <laughs> I'd rather carry it myself, George. You're not gonna wear your hat? No, I, I wanna keep it perfect till tonight. We're going to the opening of the new planetarium dome. Thanks. Uh, let's get home before anything happens to my perfect clean hat. <laughs> well, we made it safely. Okay, now George, when I get back, we're going right to the planetarium, so take a bath. There'll be photographers there. I want you to look clean and fluffy. George was going to take a bath, just like he was told. Sure was a perfect hat. Who could resist trying it on? George wanted Compass to see him in the yellow hat. It'd only take a second. George saw the hat fly this way, but it disappeared. <laughs> the hat was back home and still perfect. Almost. George removed the piece of branch as carefully as any surgeon working on any yellow hat could. Okay, there was just a tiny thread there. No problem. Maybe he needed to pull harder. Or maybe it had to be cut off. George had forgotten that the last time he used his safety scissors was to cut his strawberry jam and banana sandwich. <laughs> it was only a small smudge. All he had to do was clean it off. <laughs> this stiff brush got the grill sparkling like new every time, and the grill got dirtier than the hat. <laughs> He may have scrubbed too hard. When I get back, we're going right to the planetarium. George had to do something fast. <laughs> oh, hello, can I help you? Do you want a hat like this one? 
I have one just like it. But it's exactly the same. <laughs> oh, you want a yellow hat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, that's the only yellow hat we have. I'm sorry. Gnocchi had never seen George look so worried. George showed her the problem, but cats think every wiggling finger is a game. They can't help it. Maybe he didn't need a new yellow hat. Maybe all he needed was something like a yellow hat. <laughs> Hunley tried not to wonder what George was up to. He really tried. to know. <laughs> what would make a good hat? <laughs> Same color? Perfect! had wanted to see what George was up to, and now he couldn't see anything at all. Good color. Too floppy. Not floppy, but too pointy. Perfect. If he wanted to be the man with the drippy yellow bag hat. The man with the yellow ice cream stick pyramid hat. The man with the yellow blow up hat. George realized that no hat he made could ever be the man's yellow hat. But the hole didn't look so bad when there was yellow paper inside. That was it. He didn't need a new hat. He needed to patch the hole. The paper looked good but something made of more hatty material would look better. Ah. Something like a yellow sock. George, did Hunley drop by for a shower, or is one of our towels running away from home? <laughs> George, where's my hat? <laughs> Gnocchi, don't touch my clean hat. It has to be perfect for tonight. George, why does my hat have a tail and a hole? <laughs> ah. 
George couldn't believe he didn't think of that. You see? It looks great. All right, we've got to go. Did you take a bath? <laughs> Fixed hat, fresh suit, clean monkey. I feel like there's something we forgot to do. George always liked the sights and sounds of the countryside. The tastes of the countryside were pretty good too, especially the taste of the Rinkins' homemade honey. You ready to sample this year's first batch of honey, George? <laughs> I packed some homemade bread in here to go with your honey. Enjoy! <laughs> if there was anything George liked more than sweet honey, it was eating it with freshly baked bread. But this bee wouldn't let him enjoy his snack. Now, where did it hurry off to? What could be more interesting than bread and honey? <laughs> George wondered how a flower could move when there was no wind. Touching all the flowers was definitely not as interesting as a bread and honey sandwich. be mean enough to take a monkey snack. <gasps> a bear. George had never seen a real live bear wandering around here before. The bee came back. It must have wanted to be friends. <laughs> well, that bee thought you were trying to hurt it, George. Bees sting to protect themselves. Now, just keep ice on that finger for a while and you'll be fine. You want cereal again? You just had it for breakfast. <laughs> no, George, a bee stung you. A, a bear didn't bite you. Besides, no one's seen a bear in these woods in over 20 years. But George was positive he'd seen a real bear. Hey there, George! Bill always seemed to know everything. Maybe he'd know about the bear. Hey! <laughs> Pretty good imitation, George. Did you know no one's seen a bear around here in over 30 years? <laughs> <laughs> George left those bees alone. Why couldn't they leave him alone? That's just a honeybee, George. Hey, they're going toward my yard. <laughs> wow, when did they build that? I gotta get those bees to leave. I don't want them to hurt my bunnies. George? George? It's a beautiful day, George. Why aren't you outside? 
Come on, help me water the snapdragons. They're in bloom, see? Afraid of getting stung again, huh? Hmm, I have to go to the Rankin's place. Maybe you should come along. I bet they can help you. George? <laughs> it's us, Mr. and Mrs. Rankins. <laughs> oh my, is that the bee sting we heard about? It's his first. Now he's feeling a little nervous around bees. Oh, perfectly understandable. <laughs> uh, that's why you'll like this. Ta-da! Bees can't sting you when you're wearing this. Ooh. <laughs> you want to see something really neat? <laughs> Why, look there. <laughs> Don't worry, we're protected. <laughs> George, you ever wonder why bees like to crawl inside colorful flowers? Oh, they're gathering nectar. You can get close and watch. Now, as the bees get their nectar, their legs transfer a fine substance called pollen from one flower to the next. It helps more flowers to grow in the future. <laughs> Here at the hive, the nectar turns into the bees' food supply. Can you guess what it's called, George? Uh... Honey, George. The same honey you like on your bread. make more than they can eat. That's where we get it. Here's another jar for you. Enjoy. <laughs> George was amazed something so tasty came from something he'd been afraid of. He wanted to say thanks. <laughs> uh, not too close, George. Bees will get angry if you disturb their height. <laughs> I'm staying to help with the hives, George. I'll be home soon. Maximum protection. Come on. <laughs> I jump on this plank to launch these mud balls. They knock the hive loose. It falls in the can. Then I take it to Mr. Rankin's. <laughs> yeah, it's not the proper way to remove a hive, but I need to act fast before bunnies get stung. George knew Bill's plan was going to make the bees mad. You know there's a proper way to remove a hive. Mm-hmm. Let's get those bunnies somewhere safe and call professional bee removers, huh? <laughs> <laughs> 